In this video, we're going to cover the ceremony form, reception form, music request, event timelines, how to make a payment, review your invoice and contract. So let's go to the very top. So let's start with the forms. So you're going to have a wedding form for just the DJ portion. So we have a ceremony portion, a reception portion, music request, event timelines, and depending if we do videographer, then we have post-wedding questions. Just some information about your event and you guys as a couple. So I've already filled some of this out, but we'll go over some of these. So you have um, at your ceremony, before you walk down, you have guests that like to sit down beforehand. So your package starts 30 minutes before you guys decide to walk with pre-ceremony music. And all we need to know is a genre that you guys would like us to play or specific artist. Uh, you can also put other down here. And so here's a good example of a song. So the wedding party here are going to walk into Train, Marry Me. The bride's going to walk into John Legend, All of Me. We are going to start that song at the very beginning. But at the recessional, that's the song that you guys walk out to after you guys say I do. Um, we have the song Best Day of My Life, American Authors. But the chorus doesn't start till 28 seconds, so you can put a time code in here so we know when to start the song if you guys don't want us to start it from the very beginning. You have a uh, box here for the interlude. What the interlude is, is if you're doing a, a wine tasting, if you guys are gonna do a knot ceremony, a candle lighting, uh, sand pouring, any of those that you guys wanna do and you need a song for that or anything else, any traditionals, that's where you put the song in and it gives us the information and we know what songs we need to get for your guys' ceremony. Once you're done, you can save all changes, but a week before your event, that Monday, so I give you seven days before your event to fill out all the forms, you're gonna push finalize and lock it down. You can also print it for yourself, maybe if you wanna give it to a planner so we have the same information. You're more than welcome to do that. So now let's go to the top, let's go over to the reception form. So the first event of a reception is the cocktail area. Now it doesn't matter if you guys are serving alcohol adorbs at your wedding, it doesn't matter. This time is just from the end of the ceremony to the start of dinner or the grand entrance. So for cocktail, same thing with the ceremony background music. We just need to know a type of genre or some artists that you like. Here are some popular suggestions. You can use these background music times to play some of the off-ball songs that you know won't work as well uh, for the dance party. When it comes to the grand entrance, picking something out, you guys want to pick out something that is high energy. That's the only thing that I ask for because it's a very exciting time. Everybody stands up as we bring you in. So after that, we wanna know who are we announcing? Are we just doing the bride and groom? Are we gonna be doing the whole wedding party? And that's where you can fill it out in this detailed box. After that, we're gonna go directly into dinner and then you guys select another form of background music uh, for dinner time. So it's either, uh, sometimes people have live music. If that's the case, then we can provide microphones for them. You can use these background music times to play some of the off-ball songs that you know won't work as well uh, for the dance party. Here's a section here for a dinner blessing. If somebody's gonna say a prayer before dinner, you can fill out their name and that way we can call them up and here you can put in the relation to who's ever doing it. Um, after that is done, we'll go into toasts and then you can list here um, the order of the speeches so that way we know who to call up and who to get in line um, to do the speeches. Uh, once the speeches are done, we'll go into the cutting of the cake, which the song is here, is Better Together by Jack Johnson. Then we have the first dance. You can see we have the father-daughter, the mother-son. Now you can see here it says song length. So if you're dancing with somebody that's a little bit older or you pick a song that's really long, we can cut down the song and this is where you can uh, give a length here and then we know to cut the song early if you guys would like. So here's where you can do the bouquet and garter toss. Uh, if you guys wanna skip these and, and then go ahead and leave these blank. Um, if you have a specific request for the last song, that's where you put it in here. And then any additional information that we need to know about you guys can put it here in information. So this one has, please let me know about the photo booth, the opening and closing time. So you can save all your changes. 
Now we're going to go to music requests. So here's where you fill out all your music requests for the dance party. You guys have up to a 25 limit of play if possible. You guys can fill out all the songs here in all these different spots. Or at the very bottom, you have a Spotify list. So you guys can upload a Spotify list if you guys put one together, if you guys choose. If you saw here, we also have a do not playlist. So if there's certain songs that you're writing that you don't want played, you guys can list them here. Save your changes when you're done. And then you can also finalize and lock once everything is done. And that lets us know, hey, you're done filling out your forms and now we can start looking at them. Now the very, very last form is probably one of the most important forms is our event timeline. So these are all the events that we need to know times for um, in chronological order. So you have our pre-ceremony music, then we need to know the start of the ceremony, cocktail, grand entrance, dinner time, what time our speech is, cutting of the cake, special dances, and then the last dance or send off. Now, um, depending on the cake and special dances, we usually run them back to back, so those times aren't as specific. The key times that we need to know about is, what time are you guys planning on walking and what time is dinner? Once you get those times figured out, then everything kind of falls into place, but this at least keeps us on schedule and we try to stay to this as best as possible. So here is the payment information. At the very top, it says make a payment. So it'll tell you when your final payment is due, and it's usually about seven days before your event, the total cost, how much we've collected, uh, the balance due, and your payment history. If you guys want to Venmo us, you guys can get the information right here. If you guys want to send us a check, you can do it here. And any cash payments, we have the address right here. Now, if you want to send this to someone else to pay, there's this link down here at the bottom. They can click on it. It'll take them to a payment page. So let's go look at the invoice now. So we also have a PDF download version and a printable version. It'll give you the information of our company, invoice, dates. It will list here. This package has a DJ and photo booth. So it's listed right here. It also lists the uh, up uh, addition of the up lights that we've added and then also the spotlights it'll give you the grand total and any other payments and then right below that we have the contract and you can see all the contract details that we looked at earlier over here and they'll show you who signed it the date that it was signed on and the ip address so from your account if you ever want to get back to our website you can hit our logo up here and it'll redirect you to our website a couple things i want to show you if you push this login button right here, this will give you the login back to your account. It took me directly into it because we're already logged in. Now back on my website, you see here we have a tab that says music. So this is a great tool to use if you're having trouble picking out your songs. And we have a bunch of different Spotify lists for the different events that happen at a wedding. So if you're having trouble picking out a song, you guys can refer to this as a good helpful tool. So click on here. And now there's all these uh, different songs that you guys can choose from. So it's a tool for you guys to use if you guys are struggling on picking out songs. So that's our online system. I feel it's a very helpful tool. Uh, keeps everybody organized. We print out these forms and it's kind of what we go off the day of the wedding to make sure that we keep everything professional and it's straight to your guys' timeline and any detailed information we can share with the planner. We can look at these forms right here and we know exactly what we need to do to make sure you guys' event is successful. Thank you guys very much.